This is PHRV Radio Las Vegas, the monitor, looking globally at the periscope of the latest situations amid the COVID-19 pandemic. PHRV Radio Las Vegas, the monitor. Masagana ng panonood po sa inyong lahat, mga kababayang walang kaba. Sa bahaging ito ng paglilingkod bayan ng PHLB Radio Las Vegas, ang mga membro po ng International League of Broadcasters ay minsan pamaghati po sa sanlibutan na mga situationer para po naman sa inyong kaalaman sa gitna po nitong mapasalan, masalantang COVID-19 pandemic. Ito po ang inyong PHLB Radio Las Vegas, The Monitor. Inyo po namang lingkod, abang lingkod po ninyo, Rex Recarte po lamang. Direct from PHLB Radio, The Monitor, dito sa Las Vegas, Nevada. Mga kababayang walang kaba sa pagkakatong ito ng The Monitor, uh, ito po ay masahol pa at mas mabilis pa sa isang radio broadcaster. Ang uh, kaibigan po natin na matagal ko nakasama sa Los Angeles, California, siya po ay uh, isang uh, uh, serial pronur. Yun, explain niya sa atin yung kung yung serial pronur dito pa naman sa PHLV The Monitor ng Las Vegas, Nevada. Mga kababayang walang kaba, uh, please welcome Mr. Paul Merador. Paul, it's your turn. Hello. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah, it's about 4.30 right now, so it's good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Rex, thank you for having me on your show. Um, Alalim na mga sinabi mo. Uh, I didn't understand much. Ah, ginagamit ko lang yung ginagamit ko Filipino dictionary. Ginamit ko lang yung mga uh, tunay na Filipino na mga kataga. Uh, kasi marami tayong mga Filipino at saka mga kababayang walang kaba all over the world na nanonood sa atin and this is uh, Uh, the monitor ng PHLB. Minamonitor natin yung ano po, yung COVID-19 at sa iba't ibang businesses ng Philippines uh, dahil po sa masalantang uh, pangyayari sa COVID-19 pandemic na nakaka-affecto sa uh, business ng mga Filipino. Now, uh, this afternoon po, mga kababaing walang kaba, uh, si Paul Merador po ay... Uh, Nasa mortgages and loans and real estate business for quite a time. At uh, para po naman sa kaalaman ng mga tuners natin at viewers na uh, kami po ay kamuntik na. Kamuntik na. Sinimula na namin yung Coffee Corner show namin noon sa Los Angeles, California. At uh, inabot lang kami ng panahon na hindi maganda ang takbo ng business kaya hindi na may naotuloy yung Coffee Corner but uh, Coffee Corner is a good concept uh, because we travel from the different parts of Los Angeles, California at kinakausap namin yung mga business entrepreneurs like uh, Mr. Paul Mirador as a, a serial preneur sa Los Angeles, California Now, let's talk uh, anything under the California sun dito po naman sa PHLB Radio Las Vegas, The Monitor, would like to know from your end, uh, uh, Paul Mirador, uh, kung ano ang mga developments in especially business in uh, California and particularly Los Angeles where you live. Okay, well, thank you, uh, Rex. But um, I just want to give you guys my... Um, I I uh, siguro must make uh I'll try to speak in some Tagalog uh Yeah in, yeah sure sure uh, yeah and, no problem and, it's a free country mostly in, in English uh, mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I sure, came no to problem. US when I was 17 years old I went to high school Express it express it so, <laughs> think about uh must yeah. must ma, mabilis sa akin ng English <laughs> Yeah sure no problem uh, Tagalog yeah. Um mm -hmm. so um yeah when when you mentioned that I was a serial preneur yes I am a serial mm -hmm. preneur uh what that means is that Marami tayong uh, uh, side hustle, mm -hmm. uh, side gigs, right? Aside from being in real estate, aside from being in loans, uh, I'm also a photographer, a graphic designer, web designer. Wow. Uh, uh, I have a, a couple of shops uh, online, mm -hmm. uh, uh, e-commerce uh, online mm -hmm. business uh, mm -hmm. for emergency disaster uh, uh, 
supply store online. I have mm. a uh, right now I'm working mm. on a uh, kind of like a QBC HSN type of, of show, uh, mm. which is the, the Filipino Shopping Network, uh, mm. FilipinoShoppingNetwork.com. Yeah. I'm mm. currently building that right now. And this mm. is when we are going to be promoting Philippine made in the Philippine products made by mm. Filipinos, uh, mm. Filipino owned business. Uh, so we are, you know, trying to help out the Philippine ec economy, especially now. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that way, we we can also be, um, um, you know, uh, uh, we can we can help out the community. Um, right. I am here. I'm, I I live in Eagle Rock uh, in part of Los Angeles, California. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm also an EMR, an emergency disaster uh, rescue uh, response team. I, I, I'm a volunteer with the Red Cross for emergency disaster. So mm -hmm. uh, I do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. uh, when you talk about what's currently happening in, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. um, as far as the COVID uh, uh, is concerned, uh, we are currently, uh, the, well, the governor, uh, Newsom and, and uh, Ger Mayor Garcetti are encouraging the, the people in LA to uh, I can't speak for other uh, county, but in LA, uh, they're encouraging people to wear a face mask. Um, in I believe in 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 uh, where is that in uh, uh, somewhere part of, of of California that if you don't wear I don't know if it's San Diego, but if you don't mm -hmm. wear a mask, they will find you. Oh, West West yeah. LA West Side. The uh, on the west side, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you don't wear a mask, you'll be fined up mm -hmm. to three hundred dollars. Wow. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. it, you know, um, restaurants mostly takeout or delivery. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About a week ago, uh, some restaurants opened for a, ten days uh, mm -hmm. for dine in, mm -hmm. but uh, right now. Uh, the governor and the mayor said, you know what, let's close it back because the number is not going down. And wow. as you can tell from uh, from people in the neighborhood mm -hmm. and the community uh, bulletins and and, 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 and in, the information is basically telling you that um, the numbers are still spiking. It hasn't gone mm -hmm. down. It hasn't flattened out. So, um, yeah, it, it's still, um, you know, it's still going up. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, there were... Because of that, I also want to mention this. Uh, also, a close friend, um, a community leader, um, you know, a veteran uh, from uh, next Marine, uh, community leader, executive director of CPA, yeah. Search Involved Filipino American. Uh -huh. His name is John Swing. He mm -hmm. passed away June 28th, like about wow. a week ago. Uh, COVID? He passed away because of COVID. COVID? Exactly. Wow. That's right. sad. Right. So, oh. Uh, I tell you, most of the reports, uh, because I'm a first responder, right? Mm -hmm. And I get direct reports from Red Cross, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I get these news from you know. And, and yeah. basically, what they're saying is that you know, you don't know how most of these people. Most of these people are they don't know how they're getting infected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from this morning, or was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. uh, People are saying, you know, it could be airborne. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you could be in the same room, mm -hmm. could be 10, 12 feet away. Mm -hmm. And if that person sneeze, cough or whatever, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you could be infected. Yeah. That, so I, I guess the, the lesson here is that don't gather, don't congregate, mm -hmm. don't, you know, because it's not worth it. I mean, it's, uh, mm -hmm. you're taking a big risk. Mm. So um, wear face face mask. Uh, you know, uh, I know there's a lot of face masks out there that are just single layer. Most of them mm. you can see the white and the blue ones. Yeah. But what if that person who's infected wearing a mask still cough and sneeze mm. wearing the mask? It's mm. still gonna go through. Mm. That does, that won't stop it. So you gotta have at least double or tri triple layer of the mask because, mm. uh, and hopefully that other person wearing double and triple layer mask because right. that way you're more protected. So that's why there's a lot of openings. I mean, you got, you know, your, your eyes, eyes, your nose, nose your ears, ears. Anybody, that airborne mm. uh, uh, pathogen mm. can get to you. That's why people are wearing face shield. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. So you got to have a face mask and a face mm-hmm. shield because shield. you still have openings in your in your face. Right. Yeah. So um, extra taking extra precautions. Uh, if it's not necessary for you to go to the mall mm-hmm. and to hang out, then mm-hmm. don't go. It's not, you know, it's really not, uh, you never know uh, who's infected. You're fighting an invisible enemy. Mm. Paul, uh, I have uh, noticed that the sports enthusiasts in uh, Los Angeles, especially basketball, uh, baseball, so nagiging uh, ghost town among a staple center and uh, different uh, arenas ng sports. Ghost town, right. um, by the way, um, I'm also the president of the Phil Amp Chamber of Commerce Hollywood. Uh, so Hollywood. Hollywood, not the city, but the Hollywood. Industry. Yeah, Hollywood, Hollywood right. the Philippine American right. Chamber of Commerce Hollywood. Not right. the mm. indus- not the city, Hollywood yeah. city, but the industry. So mm. if you're uh, if you're a celebrity, or if you're a person who works behind or in front of the camera, from mm. Los Angeles to New York. Mm. Uh, you can be part of our uh, organization, a nonprofit organization, uh-huh. Chamber of Commerce. Uh-huh. So, so with that okay. being said, I will also have mm-hmm. an inside information as far as what's going on in the entertainment industry and media. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, as far as the entertainment industry is concerned, um, yes, there were uh, back then a few months ago. They said no one uh, is doing any production, no one shooting. There's no, mm-hmm. uh, there's no, no uh, filming. No filming, there's mm-hmm. no uh, Broadway shows, nothing. Mm. And the reason for that is because you have, mm. you know, you have audience, you have people, you have mm. crew, staff, production crew who are hanging around and working mm. around, around the set. Mm. So none of that's going to happen. Mm. So right now, um, that's why some of the production companies uh, are filming in Alaska. Some people are filming in in other country Ooh, okay. uh, with a with a handful like Mission Impossible for example mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Uh, they stopped filming Mission Impossible mm-hmm. uh, but since last week they started filming Mission Impossible again mm-hmm. because they are filming in other country which is more lenient and wow. less less people yeah. uh, to be around mm-hmm. so they're really uh, not exposing a lot of people and mm-hmm. they, you, only, you only have a, a handful of crew a handful yeah, yeah. right <coughs> right okay and, and because um, of that there's mm-hmm. no uh the stage like hamilton for example right mm-hmm. uh the broadway hamilton okay well uh that's why it's now on online on tv and on, <laughs> yeah uh, yeah you know, most yeah. most of these shows are going to be on netflix mm-hmm. uh, uh, amazon prime and so on until they figure out how can mm-hmm. how they can fill in the seats Right. Uh, even the seats right now, one right. seat, right, uh, uh, one wow. empty seat, right, another, is mm-hmm. still not going to work. Yeah, it won't. Yeah. Nope. And nope. Uh, on the other hand, uh, Paul Mirador, uh, this uh, uh, observation ay nangyayari sa Florida, uh, mga beach resorts ng Florida. Uh, aside from uh, the law that is being passed in uh, America, a Florida puno pa rin yung mga beach resorts. How about the beach resorts, Florida. popular beach resorts in California, Paul? In LA, uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Venice Beach, Santa Monica, Manhattan, Redondo, uh, they're all mm-hmm. closed. They're not open for public. They're, they were even closed uh, during the uh, 4th of July uh, uh, fireworks. They were they were mm-hmm. closed at that mm-hmm. time. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Talaga, no? And uh, how about the, uh, the 4th of July celebration? Uh, how do you observe the uh, celebration? Uh, parties at home? Parties a lot of illegal hotels. fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks, yeah. Yeah, well, no, they, uh, most of these people mm-hmm. in, inside the city, uh, LA, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are some rural and or urban areas, but uh, they have their fireworks on the streets. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're still, you know, like right now, there's a firework going on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, I don't know if you heard it, but there's a fireworks going on. But yeah. um, and here's my dog, trying because mm. my dog is scared. <laughs> uh, you have your ice cream beside you, ice cream and, and your apple juice and your tea. That my uh, snack, my apple snack. All right. Oh, but, um, the fireworks. It, it still, mm. you know, it, it still happened 
you know, there's a lot of illegal fire. You really can't stop mm. a lot of people doing that. Yeah, talaga. You, know? wow. you cannot stop it. Anyway, yep. yung, mga, yung mga frontliners natin ng mga Filipino kasi uh, 80, uh, 80% to 85%, most of the frontliners natin ay nasa... Uh, palagi, sabihin ko na puro mga Pilipino and Asians, uh, anong observation mo na sila ba'y properly supported na Mayor Garcetti uh, for Los Angeles? Go ahead, Paul. You want the inside information? Mm -hmm. The inside information? Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. okay. Pagka may information and observation ka, mas maigi. Uh, mas okay. answer tayo. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I know I'll, you know I know some uh, uh, do Filipino doctors and nurses. Mm, mm. Okay, uh, some of them are friends of mine. Yeah, uh, right. And, uh, um, a couple of months is this, ago, they is were it a sad story or bad? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm telling you the real mm. re reality. Reality. Right. Maybe. What's really going on? Mm -hmm. And because these are my friends and doctors and nurses, uh, mm -hmm. and and this is what they tell me. Mm -hmm. they, they had short supply of PPEs, personal wow. protection equipment. Wow, wow, wow. My friends who are doctors, they come to my house so that I can give them mm -hmm. face masks, PPEs, mm -hmm. face shields. Yeah, so I yeah, think. I noticed that. Yeah, and dami niya, no? Yeah. yeah. Naka, nakahanda si Paul Mirador. All right, so you got yeah. these face shields. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm as soon as I get them, I give them away to my doctor friends and nurses. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and, and they usually come to my place and, and they mm -hmm. pick them up here. But mm -hmm. the thing is, that, that's what I'm saying is that I have, I, you know, as a civilian, well, I'm a uh, first responder, but as a civilian, I have more protective equipment than they do. Wow. 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 Okay. Because mm -hmm. they're not being, they're not, well, I don't want to say that the hospital is not giving them, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is that, um, that most of the time they have to use their face mask for like a week or two weeks. Mm. But reusable? They reuse it? Those N95, In, those, those uh, are, no, they, this, they, they double light. That's why my doctor yeah. friends, mm. I, I'm not going to mention his name. I don't want him to mm. get any Yeah, trouble. sure. Yeah, keep it. Keep it to yourself. Uh, so he's wearing, a, where he's wearing a, uh, an N95 mm. and a face mask. Mm hmm so that he can replace the face mask disposable mm -hmm. so he can keep the N95. Mm -hmm. Because the N95 will, will allow you to be able to talk mm -hmm. because of the yeah. space. You're right. But once you wear the, 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 the blue ones, the face mm -hmm. mask, mm -hmm. and without the N95, you can hardly mm -hmm. talk, right? Mm -hmm. But that's also a single layer of wow. face mask, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you held out a face mask, if you spray, and if the spray goes through the face mask, Mm. The pathogens will go through it also. So what I'm like saying that. is that some of them are wow. not properly being equipped and supplied with, you know, with personal equipment. That's sad. And these are the people who are in front of, infect of infected mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Right? That's sad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why you see a lot of uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, fellow Filipinos out there who are mm -hmm. dying mm -hmm. because they're, you know, they're not properly yeah. equipped. Yeah. And, so, and they're, they're, mm. you know, I don't know why. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I, when I when I get stuff, I give it to uh, them directly. So what's the reaction now of uh, the city of LA regarding this uh, problem? The shortage of uh, PPE, shortage of uh, medical equipment uh, for the uh, frontliners. Paul. Yeah. Um. It's. I believe it's still uh, an ongoing thing because you mm -hmm. have to remember. Mm -hmm. The face mask, the N95, the, the, the ones that are disposed, they're, they're all disposable. Yeah, disposable. And we're still, mm -hmm. we still haven't hit the second wave of mm -hmm. the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what happens to the ones they're wearing today and last mm -hmm. month? They're all disposed, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's so all disposed. Have get, you have to get new supplies. Yeah, in. parang gloves. Gloves right. should be, once you use it, it's uh, no sense na gagamitin mo ulit. Once you use it, dispose it, right, right. Paul? So mm. uh, that's why you have to replace it. Mm. And mm. is there enough supply out there mm. to that? I mean, you go to a, a bunch of stores right now, like like uh, Target or, or grocery stores, mm. 
Mm. Hand sanitizers used to be like a dollar for a bottle. Right now, it's five ngayon. bucks for a bottle. Magkano na ngayon? Like four ninety-five. Yeah, by five dollars for like a bottle. Wow. They used to be like a you can buy them a dollar at the dollar store. Yeah, yeah, I know. Big ones. So they, right uh, now because of because of short supply, they're taking advantage, huh? Because of short supply. Yeah, short supply. Diba? Supply mm. and demand, right? Yeah, supply and demand. There yeah. you go. Mm. So it's still an ongoing thing, and that's wow. why we encourage uh, your viewers that mm. if you know a doctor or a nurse that that's mm. who are who works in the hospital and, and especially in the hospice or or uh, yeah. caregivers, uh -huh. uh, you can help them by giving them supplies. Mm. And they're uh, especially some mga. Uh, old, uh, I, I, I would say, yung mga seniors na nasa yeah. Yeah, rehabilitation center or uh, nursing home. I hope right. uh, hindi sila short, shortage exactly. uh, of the PPE. But, uh, but the problem is, the reason why uh, uh, people are still dying in mm -hmm. those places, skilled nursing yeah. facilities and so on, especially yeah. skilled nursing mm -hmm. facility, right? Yeah, the yeah. Why they're, they're dying is because mm -hmm. Not enough people are taking care of them. Why? Because mm -hmm. people who work there are leaving because they're not being mm -hmm. supplied Paid properly. Properly. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're not, they're not giving mm -hmm. supplies, personal mm -hmm. protection equipment enough mm -hmm. that they can mm -hmm. they don't have to keep reusing them for weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why they they don't want to hang around, and that, that's why they want to leave because oh, no. they're not getting the right equipment. If they're getting the right equipment, those people won't live. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Leave, right. Mm -hmm. And yes. they'll take care of the people. Mm. Easy, another, issue, another issue, Paul Mirador. Uh, sa Cebu, ayon ko sa ibang areas ng Pilipinas, ang Cebu ay naghanda ng isang malaking freezer. Talagang malaki. Uh, na, napanood ko kanina sa Facebook na pinalada sa akin from Cebu na yung mga freezer, truck talaga, uh, kasi laki ng mga container, na um, uh, refrigerated and uh, may freezer sila uh, para po naman sa mga biktima ng COVID-19 kasi mataas ang rate ng uh, uh, spike ng Cebu and marami ang namamatay uh, ito'y pinaghandaan ng City of Cebu para po naman sa cremation sa Los Angeles ba handa ba ang mga crematorium for uh, this uh, particular uh, thing that uh, will happen to those who died because of COVID-19, Paul? Now, they're, they're being packed like sardines. Uh, mm -hmm. There's not enough room to keep everybody, you know, the, the past, you know, people that passed away. Wow. Uh, I mean, I've seen videos and pictures, wow. images mm -hmm. of cont shipping containers packed mm -hmm. with dead bodies. Wow. Like they sardines. Move. Like sardines. sardines. Wow. Because wow. where are you going to find the lot, the land, to put all mm -hmm. these dead bodies and to be buried because remember even their families cannot be around touch, them. touch or see them right exactly so mm. yeah so this kind of reminds you of what you've mm. seen in the holocaust mm. yeah all right mm. when you have a lot of dead bodies where do you put mm. them you dig a big hole and put everybody in there mm. there's not enough time manpower resources mm -hmm. to build caskets for every single one of them right right mm -hmm. so they're gonna start the rotting magiging, already mm -hmm. the dead bodies are rotting mm -hmm. before you so can magiging, even build a casket magiging mass uh, grave na ang gagawin dyan for those uh, Cre cremation and, and mm -hmm. so on yeah yeah anyway no. but Nakaka yeah no? anyway, well that, that's uh, you know mm -hmm. uh yeah. so that's why we have to encourage part of the solution and not part of the problem be part of the solution and yeah put on a mask even though you're not showing any mm -hmm. sign of symptom right because the person you're talking to or or with mm -hmm. might be might. Mm -hmm. you know because you're symptomatic mm -hmm. asymptomatic right yeah so you can pass it on to them you're not mm -hmm. you don't know and while driving your car please don't use uh mask while yeah, you you're driving <laughs> Delicado yun, di ba? You're inside. You can pass oh. out. I mean, you, you're yeah, inside you a car you're by yourself. Yeah. You don't yeah, need Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. noticed a lot of drivers are driving uh, with their mask on. Well, ba? the reason for that, and mm -hmm. I believe it's because they're they're not they're not informed. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, they're they're afraid. They're you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. right. So mm-hmm. that those are part of the reason. But you know another thing I want to suggest to everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, tingnan natin si Paul para itong medical practitioner. Everybody should have one of these. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll tell you my temperature right now. Alive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ano ito? Ano ito? 91. 91. Okay. Right. 91. You cannot be over 100. Yeah, it should be 91 to 96 only. Every household, every home mm. should have one of these. Should have. Yeah, should have. Why? Because mm. let's say there's four or five people in your in your family. Mm. In your home. You know, uh can you track every single one of them where they went? Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. They go out, do a grocery run, come back mm. home. Do you know if that person is infected or not? Right. Mm. Every time Precisely. they leave your eyes, you know, your, your, mm. uh, every time they leave your eyesight, I mean, they're, they mm. could be infected and they're bringing back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never know. Yeah. And spread the COVID in your home. Delicado exactly. yan. Magandang uh, suggestion yan, Paul, para sa mga kababayan nating walang kaba uh, all over the world. Uh, Uh, you have to have this uh, uh, temperature thing para madaling makuha yung temperatura ng pangatawan mo. It should be 91 to 96, not over 100. Mga kababayang walang kaba, kayo po'y nanonood sa PHLB Radio The Monitor, ang tanghalang tapat dito po naman sa Las Vegas, Nevada. Mamayang konti sa aming pagbabalik with Paul Mirador ay pag-uusapan po natin yung Sinasabi nating serial pronur at mga potential business para po naman sa mga kababayang walang kaba na nanonood po sa ating ngayon sa PHLB Radio Las Vegas. Kami pa ibabalik sa ilang sagli. This is PHLB Radio Las Vegas. The Monitor. Looking globally at the periscope of the latest situations amid the COVID-19 pandemic. PHLB Radio, Las Vegas, The Monitor. Masaganang panonood po sa inyong lahat mga kababayang walang kaba. Sa bahaging ito ay uh, sa ikalawang singkad po naman ng The Monitor ng PHLB Radio. Balikan po natin ang uh, masahol pa sa isang broadcaster. Uh, masahol pa kasi uh, matagal kong kasama si Paul. Talagang uh, ang dugo namin na nanalaytay sa aming mga ugat ay parang sinasabi natin broadcaster and entertainer in the field of uh, whatever field. <laughs> Pag-uusapan natin. Okay, Paul, uh, this time uh, gusto ko lang mabanggit yung mga member ng ating International League of Broadcasters from uh, West Covina in LA, Neil Bong Valentine Bongkaras, uh, sa Katarma naman, Janet Galit Bantayan, Fermin Hani ng uh, Samar, uh, Dr. Fe Clarin Del Rosario, Iron Lady of Cebu, DJ Delilah ng Cebu, Attorney Chad Estela, Diyan po sa Canada, Alex Bolonggaita ng Cebu, Frank Benedicto ng Cebu, Dr. Warfe Ingracia Cebu, Ernie Briones Cebu, Marlon Baula Cebu, Blue Angel nasa The Netherlands, uh, Wena Amorin Lopez ng uh, Virginia Beach, Rex Alba ng Virginia, uh, Virginia Beach, Daniel Guden ng Minnesota, Manny Luzon, Metro Manila, Manny Cabrera, Davao, Jesse Campos, Cebu, Florence Baisa, Domaguete, Negros Oriental, Jay Sonsa, uh, kababayan natin, Jay Sonsa da, in Davao, and Edward Abad ng Los Angeles, uh, Lenny Gomera ng Los Angeles, Kenneth Gould ng Los Angeles, Attorney Mel Libre ng New Zealand, Bong Aznar, another broadcaster from Washington, D.C., and uh, Sami James Abunda of Malaybalay, Bukidnon, Tony Vergara of Davao City and Al Cabusas of uh, the uh, Bay uh, sa California dyan sa San Francisco Bay. Yun, yun ang mga member natin. And of course, brand new member natin, walang iba kundi si Paul Mirador ng Los Angeles. Now let's talk about what he's telling us about the uh, 
business ng Pilipino, yung sinasabi natin sa kanya kanina na siya ay pronor. Pronor ba yun? Pronor? <laughs> talaga nilo roll mo yung araw, no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to, uh, let's go back to Paul Mirador sa The Monitor, uh, direct from Los Angeles, California. And siya po ay presidente ng uh, Chamber of Commerce ng Hollywood. All right, uh, Paul, go ahead. Thank you, Rex Ricarte. Um, <laughs> uh, I, we, we were right. building and starting this um, mm. adventure. You know? uh, it's for right. the Filipinos. It's for, right. uh, for us. Filipino, right. Okay. Uh, if you're familiar, kung, see, hindi ko malang mga Tagalog yun. Ano? Kung uh, familiar kayo, sa <laughs> sa QBC or HSN Home Shopping uh -huh. Network, um, we're building a a similar uh, concept, ano? Uh, mm -hmm. It's a Filipino shopping network, uh, right. FilipinoShoppingNetwork.com. If you want to take a look at it, but mm -hmm. we are encouraging Filipino uh, owners, business owners, Filipino mm -hmm. uh, made in the Philippine products. Mm -hmm. um, uh, made by the Philippines, made, made by Filipinos. And even if you're a Filipino, mm -hmm. it's okay. We'll make an excuse. Mm -hmm. But uh, whatever you have, we're encouraging vendors to come and promote their business into our show. Mm -hmm. That show is going to be on a YouTube channel, okay? Right. And we have a host for it. We have a studio in Burbank. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we have got everything going on. Uh, mm -hmm. But we need vendors that would like to sell their product mm -hmm. and get more massive exposure. Uh, kasi marami tayong mga, mga Filipino business owners but most yeah, of them are yeah. just selling it uh, through their local community uh, mm -hmm. network, right? Rex? Mm -hmm. you know? uh, well, this is one way of, of getting the word out there and, and, mm -hmm. and be part of, uh, you know, because of, of, of a lot of Filipino community um, uh, resources. Nice. So if you're shopping for an abaca made bag, handbag, uh -huh. Well, mm -hmm. go to our website. You'll find him there. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so you might get a classic. Wow! So it, it you know it, it helps. Uh, uh, it's, mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a similar concept to QVC mm -hmm. and HSN. How about Barong Tagalog or uh, yeah, yung mga saya saya yes. na mga kababayan? Filipiniana. Filipiniana. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you're a dressmaker or if you mm -hmm. want to, you, know, uh, uh, you customize Barong Tagalog and, mm -hmm. and Filipiniana. You mm. can contact us and tell us, you know, uh, mm. that you do this, and and you know, we can we can put you in our show. Mm. Anong site? Anong site? Uh, type of pasok Paul. Our website is the Filipino Shopping www.filipinoshoppingnetwork.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yun ang galing, no? So yeah. aside from uh, the business that you're doing now in real estate and the loans and mortgages. At least, uh, turuan natin yung mga young entrepreneurs natin uh, to be a serial pronur in the future with uh, the mentor, Mr. Paul Mirador. Huh? Diba? Mas, well, I'll, I'll give you some, some, some tips, uh, basically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What's going on right now? Right. We have COVID. Okay. What's, a lot of uh, lifestyle will change. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies will adapt. We'll right. need to adapt. Mm -hmm. So, what's going on with, uh, with like Google or, or GoDaddy uh, or any of these uh, corporate companies? Right. Most of their employees are working from home. Mm -hmm. So, when you call tech support, when you call mm -hmm. sales, you're not calling the corporate office, you're calling an employee at their home. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, what's going on right now is, is a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way of doing business has changed. Mm -hmm. Most people are going to be working from home mm -hmm. because this is this is the change we have to adapt. Mm -hmm. We can no longer back to the big office building and and right. and have six people inside an eleva elevator. Mm -hmm. okay. We can we can that, mm -hmm. that has changed. So you got to think about how are you going to adapt your business. And introduce them to the to the world. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to set up a, a, a home office. Right. What do you need in, inside your home office? Computer, mm -hmm. printer, uh, pr you know, all this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So most people are gonna be working from home. Mm -hmm. In fact, 
in the entertainment industry, auditions are being done by Zoom. <laughs> That's what we're doing now. Right. Auditions mm -hmm. are being done by Zoom. Mm -hmm. So um, things have changed. Mm -hmm. So adapt and, and see how you can work from, find out how you can work from home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. But that, that's the big tip that I can give you because this is what the future is going to be. Mm -hmm. How about how about the entertainment industry in uh, Hollywood and LA? Uh, may mga aside from what you said a while back about the filming of uh, the Impossible and the other uh, movies, uh, do you think uh, there will also be a change in? Uh, uh, the filming, the audition, and uh, of uh, uh, future actors, uh, right. Los Angeles. Well, well um, like I said, um, mm. there are there are basically filming right now. Uh, mm. Some some big budget uh, film producers they're filming mm. uh, out of the country just because mm. they're more lenient over there. Mm. Uh, mm. You still have to do a four, fourteen day quarantine, and then uh, and then you shoot. Uh, I, I, the best thing, you know, uh, it's a good thing that I'm a, a stockholder with Netflix <laughs> and Amazon uh -huh, Prime, uh -huh, uh -huh. but that's what you're going to need, buy stocks, yeah, yeah. because mm -hmm. most of these films are mm -hmm. going to be straight to either, if it's, if it's a, if it's not a good film, it goes to DVD directly, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, right. like mm -hmm. even Seagal, he doesn't produce, mm -hmm. you know, he doesn't shoot films anymore <laughs> on, for movies, mm -hmm. but he shoots mm -hmm. for DVD. Um, so if you're, if it's a good film, I mean, that's why Netflix and Amazon and Disney are all producing their own films because mm -hmm. now it's, you can just watch it online at home. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is this, most people, uh, most people right now have a large flat screen TV. You're right. Mm -hmm. It is the flat screen TV is cheaper than your phone. Correct. Yeah, cheaper. Oh, yeah. I, I so agree. you can have a big seventy-two inch flat screen TV and a lot of movies from there. A lot of shows. Yeah, and you don't need to go to the movies to the theater, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why a lot of these mm -hmm. uh, uh, movie theaters are closing out. Mm -hmm. I opened this uh, question because uh, nabanggit mo na ang filming and uh, industry uh, so far is uh, still doing good uh, aside from what's happening now with the COVID-19. Uh, maganda pa rin ang business ng Netflix, maganda pa rin ang business ng iba't ibang uh, platforms on television like uh, ano pa ba, ang mga Prime, move, uh, Prime Video. Right. They're doing Amazon well. Prime. Mm, yeah. Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Apple TV. Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime. Yeah. So, mm. That's what you have to invest in. I mean, buy mm. stock because uh, if you buy stocks, buy low, right? Buy low, uh -huh. Uh -huh. sell high. Uh -huh. It's low now. I mean, yeah. it's not mm -hmm. gonna get you know. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I have stocks on with those companies. So now in uh, Los Angeles, maraming mga uh, masasabi ko na maraming vintage cars uh, sa Los Angeles. So we have been there. And uh, palagay mo, mabibenta pa mga vintage cars as uh, of this particular time. Uh, uh, <laughs> and well, car, I mean, if, uh, if, car if, sales. If, if uh, most of those buyers are collectors, no money. Mm -hmm. they don't, they don't, collectors. Uh, because mm -hmm. right now, it, even even car insurance companies are mm -hmm. uh, car, you know are, are lowering their rates because not a lot of people are driving them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. So... Uh -huh. And most cars are, you know, coming up it, 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 with, mm. with uh, uh, what do you call these? Is uh, electric, right? Mm. So mm -hmm. scooters ca are mm. coming out by the dozen, a dozen yeah. type of dozen scooters, bike, uh, electric scooters. Yeah, bike. Right? So, uh -huh. so yeah, because like I said, um, people who are buying expensive cars now. I mean. Mm -hmm. They can afford it and, and so on because insurance can drop a little bit because mm -hmm. not everyone's mm -hmm. driving every day now. Yeah. Uh, it's more mostly for practical use and whatever mm -hmm. if they get little groceries. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah, but mm -hmm. that's gonna that's gonna change too because of the, uh, you know, not yeah. a lot of cars. I mean, I like driving right now in the streets. <laughs> it's great. Huh? So, 
Uh, what's the uh, weather condition now in Los Angeles? Is it 97 or 98? Well, well, a few uh, a few hours ago it was 98. Mm -hmm. Right now it is 92. 92. It is 92 okay. right now in in, in mm -hmm. LA and mm -hmm. where I'm at. And it's mm -hmm. sunny. And mm -hmm. uh, what am I a forecaster now for you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Am 109. I giving you a forecast now? I mean, were you a yeah. forecast? 109 Camerito, Paul. 109. Yeah. Uh, it varies from 110, 109. And in Arizona, uh, buti niya tanang 112 or 111 uh, degrees. No? Alaga, no? Huh? Oh, you know, mm. by the way, this thing, mm -hmm. when you're cooking chicken or mm -hmm. steak, I mean, you can. Mm -hmm. Scan it and see if the temperature is yeah, right. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, multi, ano yan eh? <laughs> multi purpose. <laughs> we have body and surface uh, switch here. Yeah. But, but like I said, this is pretty handy, mm. you know, because mm. um, last week I went out to a, a Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Celebrate my birthday, had a sushi for, for, for lunch, okay, right? Okay, sushi. All right. Okay. I went to the restaurant as, and, mm -hmm. and I didn't see them. Uh, mm -hmm. It was dining okay at that time. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. So I didn't see them scanning people. Mm -hmm. So I brought, yeah. I had this with me in my, 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 <laughs> in your my bag. I have an ED, you know, yeah. uh, everyday carry EDC bag, right? Yeah. Okay. So I said, I told the manager, listen, while I'm dining, if you want to use this for, mm -hmm. you know, for your staff and, or, mm -hmm. or your mm -hmm. uh, customers, go ahead and mm -hmm. use it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but I need that back. When I, mm -hmm. But when I, you know, um, so you know what I mean? Uh, you got it. Why not share it, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, you're dining there. You don't want to. You don't want to get infected. You know, so, <laughs> so that's why you know I told the manager you can borrow it. You know? Yeah. Oh, by the way, Paul Mirador, uh, the month of July is what we call the month of fried chicken. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, so you had the, your fried chicken on the first week of July, 2020, Jansa, Los Angeles. And what are the uh, best uh, Filipino fried chicken uh, restaurants do you recommend? Kasi ma mahili ka mag-dine out. Ano, ha? Right. Uh, mm. I saw a post on Facebook uh, earlier this afternoon. What mm. is your favorite chicken place, restaurant, right? Okay. They have okay. KFC, Max, uh -huh. Jollibee, uh -huh. Chow King, and, uh -huh. and, you know, they have a selection, uh -huh. right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I forgot the taste of Max. But you I forgot it? Huh? You forgot it? The taste of Max's fried chicken? Yeah, it's been a long time since I paid, mm, you know, okay. uh, I went okay. to Go ahead. Max and okay. paid an overpriced okay. chicken. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> um, I like Jollibee uh, and Chow King. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jollibee mm -hmm. and Chow King. So, mm -hmm. hope you could... Uh, uh, Pick up, deliver, uh, mm. take out only. Mm. Yeah. Malayo ka naman kasi sa Maxis. Ang Maxis oh, nasa in Glendale. No, I, Glendale. I'm in Eagle Rock. And Glendale uh -huh. is like... Uh, Eagle Rock, Glendale, and your place. How many minutes drive? No, I'm, bet I'm between Burbank. Uh, I'm, in, ah. I'm between uh, Pasadena and, and pas uh, Glendale. Burbank. Uh, Glendale. Oh, no. I'm, okay. gl I'm in between uh, Pasadena and Glendale. Mm. I'm in Eagle Rock. Mm. Malapit so, ka lang sa Maxis, ano ha? Malapit lang. Yeah, malapit lang. Uh, so, you like Jollibee's, you like uh, Chow King's, uh, what else? Sa so, mga Filipino fried chicken lang. That's... Huh? Yun, yun, yun lang, uh, well, <laughs> that's, those are the only things that I, uh, that I have in my head. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we talk about the entrepreneurship ni uh, Paul Mirador and uh, pag-usapan natin yung sa case ng mga COVID-19, yung mga frontliners, pati yung mga PPE na shorted sila. Uh, dito tayo sa, uh, napag-usapan din natin yung mga beach resorts, right? And okay. I don't know, yeah. Uh, ano bang mga sitwasyon ng mga beach resorts natin sa Los Angeles kasi pinaligiran ang LA ng maraming uh, beaches dito. Uh, unlike in Vegas, na napakalayo. Uh, maghanap pa kami ng beach resort dito. Uh, kaya, naiingganyo ang karamihan pagka summer, uh, pumunta ng Los Angeles just to, you know, go to 
Uh, ano ba yung beach resort na gustong-gusto ko dyan? Redondo. Redondo, di ba? Yeah. Masarap mag-fishing sa Redondo. What else? Nakalimutan ko na yung mga pangalan ng mga beach resort dyan kasi uh, tagal ko na rito. One year na ako dito sa Los, uh, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> right. I mean, you're mm. you really not missing much kasi uh-huh. it's, it's mm-hmm. been closed down. Right? Yeah. Even yeah. celebrating July 4th, the beach mm-hmm. is closed. Sarado. Uh, okay. Pero, there are still some people that are uh, surfers yeah, right. that are sneaking in to, to get mm-hmm. to get out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, how are you going to catch him? You got to have to wait for him to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right? Boring naman kung lagi ka nasa bahay because uh, the uh, people in uh, Los Angeles, they used to travel, especially summer. No, sarap ang travel. Right, summer. exactly. Well, I... You know, during summertime here in, uh, in L.A., uh, mm. I usually leave L.A. Once during the summertime. I go somewhere right. colder. Mm. I hate the summer. I mean, I, yeah. I melt in the sun. Mm. Uh, but the thing about the, um, like I said, the, 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 the people in the beach, they're closed right now. We don't know when mm. we're going to be able to mm. go back. Um, right. So you just, like I said, people stay at home. Mm. They get bored. They, yeah, they, board they, like be, oh. is, yeah. it's either you break up mm-hmm. with with <laughs> with your wife <laughs> or, <laughs> or your husband because yeah. you've known each other deep enough that uh, mm-hmm. I really can't stand this person anymore, mm-hmm. right? Uh, or you become a better cook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, by the way, the other side of uh, the COVID-19, uh, we noticed that a lot of families in the Philippines, uh, they eat together, they pray together, they stay at home together. Uh, dati, hindi sila nakakasabay sa hapagkainan uh, for dinner, breakfast, and lunch. Ngayon, uh, that's the positive side naman ng COVID-19 kasi isa lang ang pinapayagang mamalengke. Uh, because of the past, you know, yung mga past natin. Uh, and uh, uh, Metro Manila now is still uh, on the same track na masama pa rin ang lagay ng Metro Manilans and Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Kaya that's the other side naman ng COVID-19. At least uh, people now are very religious. Lagi silang uh, nagdadasal, uh, bumabalik na sila sa Panginoon kasi humihingi sila ng awa na sana uh, yung pamilya hindi maapektuhan ng COVID-19 at saka pinagdadasal nila ang mga kaluluwa nung lumisan yung mga namatay and uh, ako'y nalulungkot din kasi maraming talagang Filipino ang naapektuhan ng COVID-19 sa atin sa Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao and also partly dito sa United States of America. Kaya sa mga kababayang walang kaba na nanonood po sa amin, uh, please, uh, ma- ma- mabilis naman ang messenger, di ba Paul? Oh yeah. Mabilis naman ang Facebook. Please communicate with your families back home. Na kung pwede, huwag na kayong pasaway. Please stay home and uh, don't spread the virus. Just spread love. Huwag yung virus. Kaya inaasahan namin na itong palatuntunan natin na tapat, tanghalang tapat po naman sa PHLB Radio, ay makapagbibigay po kami ng mga uh, suggestions para po naman sa mga kababayan nating walang kaba. Uh, by the way, on this uh, particular time, uh, pakingin natin si Paul Mirador sa kanyang uh, mga advice para po naman sa mga Pilipino all over the world. Ma- nasang ka man naroon? Middle East, uh, maaring ikay OFW, ikay nasa Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, wherever you are, uh, dito sa Amerika, uh, wherever you are, may mga payo si uh, Paul Mirador. Thank you, Paul. Go ahead. Um, well, there's a, just a few advice. When it comes to business, um, if, I don't know if you've read the book called uh, Multiple Stream of Income by Robert Allen. 
Uh, but having multiple stream of income is very necessary right now mm -hmm. because a lot of places are closing down and a lot of placing uh, a lot of places are are uh, uh, that employees are not necessary anymore yeah. so having your own side hustle your mm -hmm. side gigs you know mm -hmm. uh, that's what I have uh, it's not, if it's not real estate, it's loan. If it's not loans, it's photography. If it's not photography, web design, mm. graphic design, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. video editing, um, production, mm. and so on. Tapos na tayo ron. Tapos na tayo. Right. So, you know, we can go up and down. I mean, if, if, if real estate is down, this other side hustle are up. Yeah. You can focus yeah. on that. Yeah. And if this is down, maybe it's some, something else is up. Focus on that. Mm. So, have multiple stream of income. It's kind of like the... It's kind of like the... the uh, diversifying mm -hmm. your uh, your 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 income right mm -hmm. your investment mm -hmm. diversifying uh, even stocks and so on now when it comes to covid uh, protecting mm -hmm. your stuff the best advice i can tell you is that you mm -hmm. don't need to take unnecessary risk mm -hmm. because it's not worth it if you don't need to be out there don't mm -hmm. yeah. just stay away you know what? Even after this COVID is over, I want to mm. be away from people. You know, <laughs> I still want to be. I still want to be far away from people because okay. no, I'm okay. seriously. You just you just mm. don't need to be. Uh, it's unnecessary. Don't take the risk. You're right. Mm. Always protect yourself. Always. Mm. You have to take this seriously. The, the problem with the pe people in the Philippines is that they don't think it's a big deal. Right. Mm -hmm. But it is. Yeah. It's a very big deal. I know yeah. three people. Mm -hmm. friends of mine already passed away from covid if yeah. i know three people mm -hmm. you probably know some other people some. also yeah. that mm -hmm. have passed away mm -hmm. six degrees of separation is no longer six degrees of separation you already need one degree separation mm -hmm. because you already right. know someone who's already infected and passed away from it yeah mm -hmm. anyway okay. and that's a reality agree. Check. that's agree a reality check. you gotta take it mm -hmm. seriously yeah thank you for the advice uh mga kababayang walang kaba all over the world. Nasaan ka man naroon? Uh, sana yung advice and mga suggestion ni Paul Medador ay isa-isip natin at isa-puso. Now, dito tayo sa pamamaalam ni Paul Medador direct from Los Angeles, ang ating po namang serial pronur. Di ko maintindi niyo, serial pronur eh. <laughs> Thank you, Rex Ricarte. <laughs> Okay, Paul, pamamaalam mo sa mga uh, viewers natin. I, 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 um, what, what do you want me to say? I mean, uh, uh, of course, you're, you're pamamaalam. Uh, pamamaalam? Lalim na, ano ba yan? Stay safe, be careful, uh, and, you know, um, like that, <laughs> just... Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Just, just stay yeah. safe, and be careful, and, and you've said it. take you've it said seriously. It. Yeah, Thank you've you. said it. Everything you've said it, Paul. Yeah. Mga kababayang walang kaba, masaga ng panonood po sa inyo lahat. Uh, sa bahaging ito ay magwawakas po naman ang paglilingkod bayan ng PHLB Radio Las Vegas at ang mga membro po ng International League of Broadcasters. Brand new member po natin si Mr. Paul Medador from Los Angeles para po naman maghahatid sa atin ng mga information at situationer sa sanlibutan. And sa ngalan po naman ng PHLB Radio ng Las Vegas, sa ngalan po naman ni Paul Mirador, at sa ngalan po naman ni Johan Saison at mga anchor ng PHLB Radio Las Vegas. Ito po ang inyong abang lingkod sa PHLB Radio The Monitor. Rex Recarte po lamang. Mabuhay po kayo mga Pilipino. This is PHRV Radio Las Vegas, the monitor, looking globally at the periscope of the latest situations amid the COVID-19 pandemic. PHRV Radio Las Vegas, the monitor.